Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a team project in Team Foundation Server 2015. During this video, we'll also take a brief overview of uh, team project templates. There are three uh, team project templates available in Team Foundation Server 2015. And based on your requirement, you can choose either and we'll take a brief overview that what each project template uh, can do and uh, what it means. And during the same video, we'll have options to choose versioning control methods. Uh, Team Foundation 2015 allows you to choose two versioning control methods. One is Team Foundation Server itself and other is Git. And we'll take a brief overview of that. And based on your requirement, you can choose uh, one versioning control method. In this video, we'll be choosing TFS uh, versioning control method itself. So let's go ahead and open our uh, Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio and you can see that right here I'm connected with TBS T TFS. This is my T uh, TFS uh, Team Foundation server. And in order to look at the complete information about Team Foundation server, you can click on Manage Connections and connect to Team Foundation project. And this is TBS TFS, Tech Brothers TFS server and Team Project Collection right here is the default collection as, as you can see team projects there is none right now and we're going to create one but uh, in order to look at the url for this server you can click on servers and all the servers uh, team foundation servers that you have added you will see it right here the name shows the um, uh, host name and the url shows the web access url of your team foundation server let's close this and cancel this and now we need to create a team project. So where it says click right here, you can click on this little arrow right here and go to project and my teams and click on team, new team project. This will start the wizard of your new team project on your um, team foundation server and the collection that you have chosen. So what is the name of your uh, team project? Uh, just name it whatever the, this team project is about. So I am going to, for just this demo purposes, I'm going to just name it as Tech Brothers. Description, you can put uh, any description. Mm, I would recommend that uh, whatever this uh, team project is going to be about, put that description there. So if you have multiple team projects, each one of uh, has a meaningful description, it'll help your team to understand. Just a demo for me now, right now. Click next. And here is the templates I was talking about. There are three templates available. If you click on drop down, uh, by default, Scrum is selected. Scrum uses the Scrum methodology. If you are tracking your project on the task basis and you wanted to have your project, your project is uh, based on the, the backlog all the tasks needs to be done on a certain day and uh, each task is needs to be specified uh, completed between specific time and you want to track all that um, then you can use scrum and cmmi right here this is uh, also another um, uh, template that's available and it is if you don't know which one to choose i will recommend you that if you select this one uh, this will tell you right here a brief description is called this template is for uh, teams who follow the Scrum framework, Scrum methodology. And if you choose CMMI, it'll tell you right here, the template is for uh, more formal projects requiring a framework for uh, process improvement and the auditable records for decision. For example, the, the change control method. You, if you're in IT and you have certain process and procedures that you get audited on, this is the the uh, team project um, uh, template that you would like to use so if you click on agile it it shows right here this um, <clears throat> template is flexible uh, and w uh, will work great for most teams using agile planning methods including those practicing scrum so this is kind of uh, the combination of uh, uh, really scrum and uh, has a bit more features if you still don't understand which one you can choose 
right here this is very informational right here view more information about process templates before you move on to create your um, uh, or select uh, the template I would recommend you to click on this and read about it it has way more uh, information and in nice format uh, that will make you understand which um, which template you want to use in this demo we're gonna click on scrum this is what I want to use for just this demo purposes click next and since I have the SharePoint uh, site configuration already done in my team foundation server if let me quickly show you if I open my team foundation administration console right here team foundation administration console so right click and click on run as administrator you will see that if I click on SharePoint web application you see that uh, it is configured in my team foundation server that's why I get this option right here when I'm creating a team project this will create a team site if I want to create a team site on my SharePoint where uh, all the documents and other uh, important stuff that you want to uh, save and uh, uh, have it available for the rest of the team or um, other teams you can do that but uh, let's not uh, create a new SharePoint site right now like uh, I'm, I'm gonna click do not configure a SharePoint site at this time and click next and this is where I was talking about the versioning control system for the new project the one is team foundation uh, uh, server itself version control uh, it, this the difference between these two uh, team foundation version control also known as tfvc and git so the team foundation server version control you wanted to use if uh, all the changes uh, you will do locally you have to uh, check out and do the changes and check back in on the central team foundation server this is where uh, once you check in your other team members can see your changes um, but the Git is more of a, your local repository. So you will make all the changes. You will have a shared um, uh, place where you will share your changes and all the team members can, can see your uh, local changes on a shared, particular shared drive or uh, uh, shared file or wherever um, you wanted to save your changes. So based on your requirement, if you wanted to, mostly you work on your local repository and just wanted to share with the team uh, then choose git and if you wanted to have it more centralized and uh, uh, have team go to team foundation server and take a look on your changes then you should choose a team foundation version control so I'm gonna change uh, I'm gonna click on uh, team foundation version control for this demo purposes and click next and the, this is my summary for this uh, uh, team project so I'm gonna click on finish and it's gonna create um, a team project for me based on the template that I have selected in this case is scrum
All right, team project created successfully. Let's close this. What it did, if you would like to know, you can click on view the team project create log. It'll walk you through what exactly it did, but uh, I'm okay without looking at it. Just click close and we'll see our team project, uh, team project right here, Tech Brothers. And you can explore more about my work, pending changes. This is all about uh, your team project you just created. Let's go back to our team foundation server right here on application tier and click on team project collection and we'll just refresh it and click on status. As you can see team projects right here. The Tech Brothers team project is created and it's active right here. So basically, uh, this is it. This is how you create your uh, team project based on uh, uh, the template that's available in Team Foundation Server 2015. Uh, and I hope it helps.